and a good evening fans from the Pacific Coast League Triple-A Ball Clubs. Tonight is the first game of our three-game series between the visiting San Antonio Missions and your Iowa Cubs. Two teams continue the series tomorrow night at 7.05 and we'll wrap up the series in our third game in the showdown. Missions will be back on the road after our three game series. They'll head to the Omaha Storm Chasers and most likely that will do her. And we are ready for some baseball in some pretty good, pretty good uh, baseball field. We are here in Barnes Canyon in Iowa. Seven o'clock and partly cloudy here in this one. All right, fans, well, get out your scorecards, and here is your lineups. First, for the San Antonio Missions. <clears throat> Then, your Iowa Cubs. And that is tonight's starting lineups. We are under the lights this evening and as we get you set for another edition of baseball on MLB Network. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the San Antonio Missions and the Iowa Cubs. Major League Baseball on MLB Network is next. Kendall Graveman, a right-hander from Alabama, gets the starting assignment. What do we need to know here, Danny? Yeah, Matt, here's the scoop on Kendall Graveman. Not an overpowering guy, 93 to 94 miles an hour. Good slider, good changeup. Will throw an occasional curveball. Not really a strikeout guy. He's more of a pitch to contact guy. And if he's throwing well early, you'll know he'll be getting a lot of quick outs. Base. So digging Domingo. in now, Domingo Zapata. Zapata. And we are set for baseball here this evening. Pitch to the plate is a sinker for a called strike one. First pitch, 7 o'clock. Now a swing and a miss, and things are not looking real promising here. Down 0-2. Into the windup, here comes the 0-2 pitch. A little bit off the outside, it's 1-2. I think if he executes that pitch on the corner instead of off of it, he probably gets some pretty weak contact, if anything. He jammed him pretty hard on the previous pitch, so my bet was he was going to try to cheat on the inside part, thinking it might be coming again. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Waiting on it is Kemp, one away. And with that, here's a look at the visitors starting lineup. What do we need to know about these guys for this evening's matchup on the road, d -Rome? Yeah, you take a look at this lineup they're running out today. And they got their work cut out for them with the sinker baller on the mound on the opposition side. They're going to have to see the ball up. They're going to have to work the home plate umpire. Can't be given four to six inches off the inside half or he's going to have a field day pounding that sinker in there. Should be interesting to see right out of the chute if he's got the good one or not.
First pitch of the at bat. Favorable call in there for a strike. Bases are empty, one man out. Oh, got him to swing out of his shoes on that one. Nothing in two. Here it comes on nothing in two. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. The 0-2 once more is taken for ball one. One out, nobody on. He pulls this one into right. And that'll get down out there near the wall. He'll get it into second. But he'll be in there with a double. That was a great job of driving that ball. Extending his arms the very well. Baseman. Was able to get it over Robert. the right fielder's head. What? One hopping it off the wall for an easy double. That's one of those solid hits that you don't even feel coming off the bat. Standing in now, Robert White. He swings and grounds it to short. He's got it, and the throw forces him to lay out for that one, but he keeps a foot on the bag to record the out. Batting fourth, the first baseman, Tyler Austin. Here's Tyler Austin now. Great chance to drive in a run here in the early going. First offering on its way. Nope. And that misses for ball one. <laughs> Ready with the 1 0. Too three. much dip on the sinker, laid off for a ball. Do you take your chances in this situation as a hitter, knowing he's just missed outside two pitches in a row, and dive a little bit and try and drive something in the opposite field? Two and one after the foul ball there. Gamble at second with two down. And he can't oh, catch out. the corner here, so he's behind three and one. He's got himself into a little bit of trouble out here. Middle of the order up in a run scoring situation, and now he might have to challenge him. Going to have to make some good pitches here. center field Tyrone is there and he'll make the catch to retire the side so they get a man to second here in the top half but he's stranded there so it's on to the bottom of inning number one no score Freddie Peralta will be on the mound for the away team in this one Dan please what do you got Hey, this guy has a four-pitch repertoire, right? And those are a lot of nice options to have. You can go hard, soft. You can go in and out. And any time you have four pitches, if you can throw them for strikes, you have the big advantage. Now batting, Ralph Tyrone. He'll lead things off here in the bottom Leading half of the for first. The, Cubs, the center fielder, Ralph Tyrone. First pitch coming. Here it is. And Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Hit in the air out to straightaway left. Moving under it, Gamble, one out. <laughs> a chance second. now to take a look at how the Not home team stop. lines up in this Number one. Two. Dero, what you got on this lineup tonight? You know, taking a look at this lineup, Matt, one thing you have to take into account mm -hmm. is the variables that you can't control. And that's the wind. 
It's blowing in. It's howling in. You're going to see some guys in this lineup change their approach, not be looking for that launch angle and trying to drive the ball out of the ballpark. It's going to take a big man to put one over the wall today. Stepping up to the plate, number two. He's ready for his first A.B. here in this one. Bases are empty, one man out. guessing game going on right now being late on that fastball after the change he had to be sitting off speed right there another 0 and 2 coming oh, and a good curveball that time as it's taken for a called strike three and there are two away pitching 101 is Batting changing third. location the and upsetting baseman. the hitters timing David. you do that and everything's Bloody. gonna be fine in that strikeout he never threw the same pitch twice in a row and he won the battle because of it Into the box now, David Bodie. As he looks at a fastball on the inside corner for strike one. No one aboard for him, and two gone here in the first. He's ready, here's the 0-1. Here's a fastball at the knees. Good spot, good pitch, and it's 0-2. Hey, from an offensive standpoint, you better get it ready. This guy is not throwing a ton of pitches. He's confident in his stuff. He is pounding the zone. He's got two quick outs. You better pull the trigger. And here's a ball hit in the air. And no one will track it down. Bases are empty here with two men out. Here's another 0-2. That gets down, and the inning continues. Hey, there's a nice knock by the three-hole hitter. I know there's two outs, but batting they always four. say with your man the coming catcher. up, the number four hole Got monster, as soon as he steps in the batter's Move box, cry. there's a runner in scoring position. In is the catcher, Jonathan Lucroy, as he can't catch up on a fastball at the letters, and it's strike one. Fastball misses inside. It's even at one. A runner on first with two away. And Lucroy behind the ball and two strikes. for strike three and that retires the side an inning in the books tonight still scoreless here on MLB Network <laughs> in now number 12 this will be his first Leading trip to the plate in this one the center fielder number 12 first pitch on its way ball oh, one The 1 0. Pitch popped up. Sharpner moving to his left, and he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. 
All right, here's how the home Batting side's six. lining up defensively. The right fielder. And known as one of the Jeremy. best framing catchers in the game, Jonathan LaCroix can beat you multiple fashions. Not only can he do it from a defensive standpoint, catching and throwing to second base, but he can also move the ball on the offensive side. Ready now, Jeremy Hawkins. As the switch hitter will take his cuts left-handed here. Well, if you're looking for pop, he definitely has more pop, more home run potential hitting from the left side. This is his power side. He lays off 1-0. No score here as we play inning number two. Perhaps a little low there. It's 2-0. Yanked hard, but foul to the right. Shoots this one over to first. And he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. Batting seven. The shortstop, Tyler Saladino. Now at the plate, Tyler Saladino. He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. Here it is. A high degree of difficulty on that one as the side is retired. So nothing happening this time around. On now to the bottom of the second. And we are tied nothing-nothing. Stepping in now, the speedy Tony Kemp. He looked Leading to get something going cup. here in this scoreless ball the left game. Fielder, Tony. Kemp. Here's the first pitch to him. There's the fastball that gets the lower part of the zone called for a strike. Now the 0-2 pitch. Fastball got him looking as that had two seam action on it. One gone. Okay, here's a defense for the away team. And that one of the fit. main backbones for the them first. out on the field today is the guy behind the dish. He controls the entire flow of the game, manipulates a pitching staff, gets them through the game, and not only that, completely shuts down a running game. Coming to the plate now, Mariano Gaius, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Aye. And he gets ahead here with the fastball, strike one. Plain to see right there that the manager's sticking up for his hitter, making sure that that strike zone gets a little bit tighter. It's tough to cover both sides of the plate, and they both want that strike zone to be shrinked up a little bit. Grounded to third, Zapata scoops it up. And there are two away now. Batting seven, the second baseman, Rob Schartner. Stepping in, Rob Schartner. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Fastball oh, just misses. That's ball one. Bottom of the second here with no score. 2 and 0. Oh, Pops this one up. But this will land untouched. And a strike. Threw him a breaking ball that time. Two and two. Hey, he's not going to get away with that all day. He's got to find a way to get on top of that ball and bury it. 
popped up. Zapata in foul ground, and that retires the side. Nothing across here this half. We've played two full, and we are tied nothing-nothing. At the plate, Reggie Humphreys. He'll start things out Leading here in a tie ball game. The catcher, Reggie Humphreys. First pitch of the at-bat. Popped up. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. Batting done. And this is not the an pitcher. easy play when you Ready. have to range to your right. He oh, really God. didn't have a chance to get his feet set, so this is all arm nicely done. In now, Freddie Peralta. And look out. Oh, that ran in and got him. And intentional or not, you do not want to be hitting pitchers out there. Oh, boy. Now Pro batting. pitchers belong Third to a baseman. closed fraternity. So Domingo. you don't usually see that Zepeda. very often. And any time it does happen, folks start hanging on the top steps of the dugout. These things usually don't go unpunished. Digging in to try it again. Domingo Zapata. He flew out in his last at-bat. First pitch on its way. There's the cut fastball, but it's low 1-0. and Peralta leads off first with one away. And he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. In there, a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Now batting. Well, that's what's so fielder. disappointing as a pitcher, Dero. You make Campbell. a really good pitch, and yet this guy's so big and so strong, he's able to muscle it into right field for a base hit. Yeah, you hand your batting gloves to the first base coach right there, and you thank your lucky stars. That's a nice A.B. And that'll bring up Ben Gamble. Into center field, line drive base hit. And they will hold that runner over at third as he'll move up only 90 feet, but the bases now are batting. loaded with one away. The second base. Robert. Nice piece of hitting right. right there. Looked like the guy on second had to respect it and freeze a little bit. He had to freeze there for a second to make sure that line drive gets down, but eventually does get the third base. Into the box, Robert White. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. strike at the knees one and one the one one doesn't catch the outside corner it's a ball well when the pressure starts to intensify it often feels like the strike zone gets harder and harder to hit this is a big spot here Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. Here's a swing and a ground ball. But this will be a foul ball as that evens things at two and two. Third inning, no score to this point. Now a swing as he shoots this down the right field line. And this is going to get down for extra bases as that'll get two and possibly all three home. And he'll get in there safely. Yeah, with the bases loaded, he now didn't walk a run no, in, so base. instead he makes the Tyler. cardinal mistake of putting it Austin. right. In. Standing in now, Tyler Austin lifted down the line in left. And that gets over the wall now, but both runners will score anyway. The batter. There's Number an 12. interesting play right there. Base open. They elect to pitch to him. And what does he do? He hits a ground rule double, which forces the run from second and third to come in to score. Stepping in now, number 12. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory.
behind 0-2 now. Four runs here in this half inning. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. It's so hard to hit when you're behind the count 0-2, right? right? You have 14. to protect for the fastball. Jeremy. You have to look for the soft stuff down Fuck and away. Yeah. You're really at a disadvantage when you fall behind 0-2. In now, Jeremy Hawkins, as he connects on the first pitch with a fly ball to center. Tyrone is there, and he puts it away to stop the bleeding. So they nearly bat around here as eight men come to the plate, and they push across four runs. We'll move on to the bottom of inning number three. The missions lead it four to nothing. Striding in, Jeff Leading Cologne, up, and they've got some work to do the early right on, field. down 4 yeah. nothing already. Hello. Lots of baseball left in this one as we're still early on, but you don't want to fall too far behind. They're already down by a bundle, and one of the things you want your leadoff guy to get on and set the table for the big boys to start driving in some runs. And the throw to He's first out. is in time, one gone. Batting ninth. The pitcher, Kendall Graveman. Next to hit will be the pitcher, Kendall Graveman. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Now a swing and a fly ball. Hawkins sprinting after it. And he tracks it down. A nice running play to record this second. The center out. fielder, number 10, Ralph Tyrone. Digging in for his second at bat, Ralph Tyrone. He'll swing it from the left side right here. First pitch of the at bat. Weak grounder down the first baseline. But a foul ball here, 0 and 1. Swing and a liner. And that is in there for a two out base knock. Now batting, number two. Riding in once again, number two, 0 for 1 for him here in this one. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Strong called. Now the throw down. He is not close as he's in there with the stolen base. It's a little surprising to see them risking base runners by stealing down this many early in the game, but they're choosing to be aggressive. Might work out if they can drive him in now and chip away at that deficit. The 0-1. Oh, Popped him up. Austin has a play. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. So no runs here on a base hit, no errors, and one man left aboard. On now to the top of inning number four. San Antonio's out in front, four to nothing. And here's Tyler Saladino. And Dan, I'm sure the Leading starter on the mound would like to hit the rewind the button shortstop. on that last inning. Tyler, oh, no doubt about that, Mac. Saladino. That was a really rocky frame, but clearly not enough to chase him from this game. We'll see if he's still shaking a bit or if he's able to put this behind him. <clears throat> First pitch coming. Here it is. Ball Down one. and away, one ball and Down no strikes. Zero. Been a real big struggle for him so far on the mound. Four runs and only three innings, so it'll be interesting to see if he can settle in at all and make some adjustments or if this start will continue to run downhill. And he watches one miss outside, 2-0 oh now.
well off the inside that time as the sinker misses for a ball. And he lays off there, ball four. So the leadoff man is on here to begin stanza number four. And that's what you want from your leadoff hitter. Catcher, Show some great patience and discipline, Reggie. making the pitcher labor Humphrey. to start the game. The result is a leadoff walk and a chance to make some early noise. Into the box now, Reggie Humphreys batting left-handed here as he takes a look at strike one. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Oh, one pitch on its way. Well thrown sinker that time down, but in the strike zone. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first out. This is the kind of a bat where your hitting now coach batting. grabs you on the, the way pitches. back to the dugout to Steady. have a little chat about your Peralta. approach. Not a lot of positives to draw from that at bat when you take two strikes and then you chase one out of the zone to go down on only three pitches. Standing in now, Freddy Peralta. As he swings and lifts it in the air out to shallow right field. Cologne in a few steps as he takes it, two down. Now batting, the third baseman, Domingo Zapata. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Domingo Zapata. He singled his last time up. First offering on its way. Sent on the ground out to second. Scooped up. They'll whip this one to first in time, and that ends the inning. So a good job for him there to bounce back after giving up four last time around. To the bottom of inning number four we go. The missions lead it four to nothing. Into the box now, David Bodie. A base hit Leading in his first trip. For the Cubs, the third baseman, David Bodie. First delivery to him on the way. Yeah. Taken, and that one catches the bottom part of the strike zone. This guy's been on cruise control as we head into the middle innings of this one. And one of the big factors why, how about 80% of his first pitches have been for strikes? There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. Now the one and one pitch. I had him guessing that time as he's barely able to foul it away. Popped him up. Humphreys waits on it. He's got it one away. Now batting, catcher. Jonathan Lucroy. So now it'll be the four hole hitter, Jonathan Lucroy, 0 for 1 after he took a look at strike three in his first plate appearance. Yeah, in today's game, certainly don't get completely reprimanded for too many strikeouts, but no one likes to go down looking. Expect him to be a little bit more aggressive at the dish this AB. Hawkins will come in a bit and put it away for the second out of the inning. Now batting, left fielder, Tony Kemp. So striding forward now, Tony Kemp comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Here comes the first pitch. A bouncer up the middle to his right, right. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. So they go down without a whimper here. We played four full. San Antonio's out in front, four to nothing. Digging in and looking for Leading more, Ben Gamble. He scored after reaching on a single in his last ben time up. 
Gamel. First pitch on its way. Sinkers in there, no balls and a strike. And he lays off for ball one. The one one. Misses for the second ball. I'm pretty surprised by the location on those last three pitches. The book on him is that he hits the way pitch pretty well, and he just saw three in a row out there. So does he go back out there again? No, Matt. I expect him to mix it up. Most catchers won't call for the same location over and over and over. But this will not elude now, the right fielder's second grasp defense. as he ranges white. As he'll take a look at a high strike that time, it's nothing in one. One for two in the ball game thus far. And he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. And he'll squeeze this one for the second out. Now batting, the first baseman, Tyler Austin. Ready once again, Tyler Austin. He doubled earlier in the game, one for two to this point. First pitch coming, here it is. Way Zero. off balance hack that time, good for the first strike. Hey, he's done an amazing job of settling down. Two innings ago, I thought they were going to run him out of here. But now he's close to posting two shutout innings as a response. 0-1, oh here it comes. On the ground to the right side. Sharpner takes it in. And a super play to gun his man down as the side is retired. Pretty painless half of the inning, all told. Home half of the fifth coming up. The missions lead it 4 to nothing. At the plate, Mariano Gaius. He leads off in the bottom of the fifth as they look Leading to break through on the scoreboard for the first time the in first this baseman. one. Yeah, baseball is a game Mariano. of adjustments, and it's time they start making yeah. some. They don't need to change their entire approach necessarily, but now is maybe when they start thinking about ways to get the guy in the mound out of his rhythm a bit. No balls in one strike. Ball and he's quickly in the hole, 0 and 2. Grounded to short. Throw just does beat him to the bag as that was pretty close. The batter, number nine, second baseman, Rob Schartner. So striding in, Rob Schartner. His last at-bat didn't go his way as he popped out in foul territory. Yeah, Matt, he's got to make an adjustment right here. His swing definitely broke down, dropped his back shoulder, and thus the result was a terrible pop-up foul. One ball, no strikes to count. The 1-0. Misses ball two. Hey, I appreciate the fact that he's making him throw a few pitches. Most of his teammates have been hacking at everything that comes their way. Here it comes, two and oh. Too tight with oh, that one. Wait. Three and oh. He's had command of his pitches all day, hasn't walked a soul, but we find ourselves in a three-ball count here. Want to see how aggressive he gets in the zone. Here's the 3-0 walk he's given up the right along fielder, with a couple of hits six. so his command has been pretty yeah. solid so far hello so stepping in jeff cologne he got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time and a strike called at the knees nothing in one hey this guy has been locating his fastball all game to perfection 
Talking to a number of big league pitchers over the years, they'll tell you a well-executed fastball with good location is still the best pitch in the game. Ready with the 0-1. Oh, and 1-1 one and one as this one's in on the hands. And he comes back with a fastball, one and two now. Pretty adamant about working him inside right now. Back-to-back -back fastballs, and that one was able to find the zone. And he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. Austin is under it, two gone. Now batting, the pitcher, Kendall Graveman. Your Eric attention, Vogel please. We'll look for some two out magic here as he'll Iowa pinch Cubs. it with two gone and a runner at Number first. Nine. Eric Vogel. Well, this will be pulled in out there at second base, and that'll be that. Your Adrian attention, Chavez takes over Al the start, the sixth inning on the Iowa mound. Cubs, number two, Adrian Chavez. Coming to the plate now, number 12. No Leading hits in two San trips Antonio, to the plate for him in the, the ball game. Viewer. Number 12. Now here's the pitch. Right side, but it's going to be a foul ball. Oh, and one count and the pitch. And boy, was he ever fooled on that pitch. It's 0 and 2 now. Wow, not sure what that was, but talking about having your mind made up, you're going to swing before the pitcher even throws a pitch. I don't know how you swing at that pitch. That's a ball. Down and away, it's a ball and two strikes. Two strikes. Well, that's a pitch right there. You got to just lay off. There's a good chance he's going to throw it on 0 and 2. And if you can recognize it starting down in the zone, you know it's only going to go down from there. Swing and he pops him up. And the sixth inning opens with a fly out, one away. The right fielder, number 14, Jeremy Hawkins. Digging in, Jeremy Hawkins. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. He's ready. Here's the first offering. That's and that misses ball one. Chavez, a right hander standing just under six foot at 5'11. He throws a four seam fastball, a changeup, a slider, a splitter, and a two seam fastball. Now the 1 0. And he just gets a piece there as this is chopped foul. One out, nobody on. Pops this one up. And there's out number two. The batter, number 13. Shortstop, Tyler Saladino. Settling in now, Tyler Saladino. It was a walk in his last trip. Here comes the first pitch. Dude, Swing and a miss that time. It's 0-1. Hey, back when I first broke into the big leagues, a lot of the pitchers wanted to work east to west. Now, with such an uptick in velocity, these guys are working north-south. That's just a great elevated fastball with serious velocity on it. Dias is there to make the catch, and the side is retired. Nothing doing here this half. Top of the order due up in the home half of the sixth. San Antonio's out in front, four to nothing. So the batting order turns over now and set to go Ralph Tyrone. Up, He'll start things out in the sixth for a the lineup that fielder. really hasn't found Ralph its groove in this Tyrone. one. Yeah, only two hits so far, Matt, and not very many hard hit balls either. We'll see if they can start making some adjustments. Hey. Here's a cold strike about thigh high, nothing in one.
The wind up and the 0-2 pitch. High in the air out towards shallow right. Hawkins is over. One down. Now batting. Number two. Digging in. Number two. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. First offering on its way. Smoked on the ground up the middle and into center field as he's aboard with a one out single. Dan, that can't bother you too much as a pitcher. Now batting. Guy swinging Third first baseman. pitch. Now, Gave one of the in. things you want to do, D. Rose, you Brody. have to try to get ahead with the first pitch. You want to throw one of the first two pitches for strikes. Unfortunately, sometimes when you bring the ball in the strike zone, you're bound to give up some base hits, but hopefully he can minimize the damage here. In now, David Bodie. Oh. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. He's one for two in this one. Now a fastball for a called strike. It's one and one. Runner at first here, one man out. And that nope. one misses badly. It's ball two. Tough fastball that time, but he hangs with it to stay alive. The 2 2 one more time. He stays alive, still two and two. Here's a looping fly ball out to right, and that's in there, base hit. And they'll have runners at second and third following the one out double. Now batting, catcher, Jonathan Lucroy. So here's the cleanup hitter, Jonathan Lucroy. He's 0 for 2 with a strikeout in this one. Here's the first pitch to him. Hit to third. The runner from third comes across to score as they try and chip away at their deficit. It's now a 4 1 game. Now batting, left fielder. So it's Tony. a tight spot here. First and second, Kemp. one man out. And striding toward the plate to hit next, Tony Kemp. Checks his swing, but this pitch is right there for strike one. Bodie at second. Lucroy at first, one gone. On the ground to second base. This could be two. Oh, this is kind of unforgivable Number for the second eight, baseman. Number he tries 22. to square himself to the throw to second Mariano. to start the double play. And I'm Dia. not sure what happened next. Maybe his cleats got stuck, or maybe he just lost the grip. But the net result is E4 with two men on board. Into the box now. Mariano Dias fouled off. No hits to this point. Hit hard up the middle. Fielded cleanly. There's one. Over to Austin. The double play, and the side is retired. So one run here on two hits, one error in the inning, and a couple of men left. We're through six full. The missions lead it four to one. Back for Pacific Coast League action on MLB Network. We're off to the seventh inning now, but first let's have a look at our game summary to see how we got here. Now at the plate, Reggie Humphreys. Off, He'll look to bounce Antonio. back after striking out his last time up. Reggie. Yeah, he didn't put up much of Humphreys. a fight either, Maddie. Got to find a way. Can't go down three pitches. I don't care if you're staring at him or swinging at him. You have to find a way to make this pitcher work a little bit harder. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's one and one. Now some action out in the bullpen as a lefty and a right-hander begin throwing. The 
one one is looked at for ball number two. Hit out towards second. Sharkner gloves it. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. Now batting, the pitcher, Freddie Peralta. Now to the plate, the pitcher, Freddie Peralta. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. Ground ball sent back up the middle. He's got it. In time to first, and there are two away. Now batting, third baseman, Domingo Zapata. Into the box now, Domingo Zapata. First pitch of the at bat. Mine to the right side, and that's in there, so perhaps some life here with two men out. Check that out right there. I love me some of that. Staying inside the baseball, batting, moving it the other way. Out. Sometimes Dang. a pitcher can execute yes. his pitch. It doesn't mean the batter can't grab a knock. Standing in now, Ben Gamel. Late on that one as it's fouled off to the left side. He's two for three and looking for more here. towards second. Throw to first will get him easily and the side is retired. Ready so it's no runs on a hit, no errors and a man left. We'll move on now to the bottom half of the seventh. Get up and stretch. San Antonio's out in front. Four to one. Leading off the inning, Rob Sharkner. And they'll need him the to cup. get something going here. The second baseman. First pitch Whoa. on its way. Shortener. This is on the ground over to first. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. The right fielder, number six, Jeff Cologne. Now in the box, Jeff Cologne. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Weekly hit to third. He's got to hurry. And very quickly there, they're two gone to start the inning. The batter, the pitcher, Adrian Chavez. Ladies Eloy and gentlemen, Barrera your will get to call please. the pinch hit here as we'll pinch see what he can do with two out and the base is empty. Number three. Line Eloy. toward the gap in left Barrera. center. And gets down and he's got himself a base hit. The center fielder, number 10, Ralph Tyrone. Digging in the switch hitter, Ralph Tyrone. From the stretch, here's the pitch. And he starts him out with a strike on the outer half. Barrera, the runner at first with two gone. A little quick on that swing, and he finds himself behind 0 2. On its way, the 0 2 pitch. And on 0 2, he misses with a fastball. A great case of a manager sticking up for his pitcher right there and giving that umpire an earful. He didn't get that pitch called the way he wanted it to, but the manager is planting a seed in that umpire's mind to try to expand the strike zone so some of those borderline pitches start to go his pitcher's way. Fastball didn't miss by much, and it's a full count now, three and two. Good running count right here. Three balls, two strikes, two outs, runner on first. He'll be off to the races on this pitch. 
White is calling for it. And that's the third out. One hit, one left. Eighth inning coming up. The missions lead it four to one. Your Bobby attention, Mack. please. It's been summoned from Al the bullpen as he'll do so Iowa to start Cubs. the eighth. Number 10, Avi Mack. Leading off the inning, Robert White, as they'll look Leading for some for added San insurance Antonio, before the bottom the half baseman. of the inning. Robert First delivery White. to him on the way. Way behind that pitch, it's 0-1. His eyes lit up on that one above the zone, but he comes up empty. It's amazing. I tell so many fans, you get in a box one time, the one pitch you're going to swing at more than any other is that elevated fastball. Your eyes light up as an offensive player, and you just cannot get to it. He throws him on the fastball there. Robert White goes quietly now to lead it. off the, the eight. Didn't eight. mess around much Tyler. in that at bat, Dan. No, that was pretty impressive, Matt. I really like a pitcher that trusts and works off his fastball. And right there, he decided he didn't need to use anything else. Three straight heaters and go grab some bench. Into the box, Tyler Austin. High in the air out to center field. Tyrone has it in his tracks. Two gone. Now batting. Number 12. Stepping into the box. Number 12. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. No balls and a strike to count. Good breaking ball there laid off for the second strike action in the bullpen now as a right hander begins to throw out there eighth inning four to one is our score a swing and a miss on a ball way outside the strike zone and the inning is over. Stepping up now, number two. He leads off their half of the eighth, and they've been Leading unable up. to get Where that starter out of the game to Not this point. Stop. Yeah, he settled number in two. early on the mound, partly due to the lead his guys gave him to take some of the pressure off. He's taken that and pitched very effectively in this one. Your Diego attention, please. Bourbon is now on to pitch out of the San bullpen Antonio. in the bottom half of the number eighth. Number one, Diego Bourbon. First pitch of the at bat. And he takes ball one. one. The 1 0. Liner towards second. And that's a base hit, so the pressure's on to open up the inning. Hey, excellent job right there, leading off the inning the with a base baseman, hit. we got to keep 13. this line moving. We cannot Day stop. Man. Nobody can make an out. We have to find a way to put two men, maybe three men, put some pressure on this defense. Stepping in now, David Bodie. And a swing from him yields a foul pop out of play to the right. Both teams with six hits so far. Aye. That's taken. Now it's 0-2. Drilled to the right side. And that finds its way through for a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Now batting. Well, the catcher. about having a pretty Got special game. That's his third Move single draw. game, D-Row. 
three for four, not a bad game. Yeah, just not trying to do too much, Dan. Taking what the pitcher's giving him right here. If the fastball's away, shooting it the other way. If he's got something hanging in the now middle batting. of the plate, turning Left and fielder. burning a little bit. Tony. Nice execution. Kemp. Standing in, Tony Kemp. An error allowed him to reach base in his last appearance. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. This is a critical point right here. Things are in danger of getting away from him a little, so we'll see how he deals with it. Now the 1-0 hey. is looked at for the first strike. A swing and a ground ball to third. Throw on to first, two gone. And that Numbers was a no-doubles defense in action right there. And it Mariano. paid off big time. That Dia. ball was scorched, but the third baseman was guarding the line more than usual to prevent an extra base hit. And it ended up being pretty much right at him. That's good stuff. Ready for another chance. Mariano Dias. And with men on base and two away, it feels like this at-bat could go a long way toward deciding this thing. No doubt, Matt. A base hit here changes this game quite a bit. But if they can't score here, it looks pretty bleak for them heading into the last couple of innings. Gamble is there, and he puts this one away for the third out. So a great job there of working out a potential trouble. So it's no runs on two hits, no errors, and two men left stranded. Ninth inning coming up. San Antonio's out in front, 4-1. to one. Ladies Brad and gentlemen, Week enters your from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right Iowa where Cubs. it is heading to the bottom Number of the ninth. 67. Jeremy Hawkins. Zero. And here's a pitch swung on and missed one and two now. Hey, if he's going to get swings and misses that balls up and out of the zone, he's going to continue to go there. The one-two. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. And mm, tough fastball to lay off on one and two, but he did, and it's two and two now. Here now the two-two. Is swung on and missed. He got him. Talk about blowing it by a guy. Jeez, I mean, that fastball was now way batting. behind him Shortstop. when the swing came through Tyler. the zone. I have to think he Saladino. was looking for something off speed, and he just couldn't pull the trigger on that fastball. In now, Tyler Saladino as the fastball is swung on and missed. Good location down at the knees for strike one. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Now here's the pitch. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. Right-hander starts to loosen out in the bullpen now. Here's the one and one pitch. Grounded up the first baseline. and two strikes here it is he is swung on and missed he got him no problems for him on the mound since the he's come out of the pen to start this inning that's back-to-back -back K's and he's Humphrey. making it look pretty easy this has the makings of a good outing so far stepping into the box Reggie Humphreys first two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out so we'll see if he can fare any better and he throws the fastball by him here 0-1 Hey, he's looking to punch out the side right here. 
And if this guy's going to do him favors and swing outside the zone, that's exactly what's going to happen. Oh, one. Here's the pitch. Well, got him to swing out of his shoes on that one. Nothing in two. Yeah, Matty, I'm going to need a better approach out of the eight all hitter. He's hitting in the bottom of the order for a reason. He's got to be willing to work the count, grind it, get this pitch count up, and get on for the boys in front of him. Two quick strikes, and now the 0-2. There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. I know you have to protect the strike zone when you get the count to two strikes, but on an 0-2 pitch that misses by that much, it's pretty easy for a hitter not to swing at that one. Ready to deliver the one and two. Great change up there in the dirt for the third strike. And the throw to first ends the inning. Nothing across here this half of the inning. Bottom part of the order, seven, eight, and nine due up in the bottom of inning number nine. The missions lead it four to one. Striding in to start the ninth, Rob Sharp as they'll Four look to get something going here the and even this baseman. game up. Rob First pitch of the at bat. Shartner. Now one a fastball, a bit too low here. It's ball one. Nope. Just missing here, two and zero. Oh. The last thing you want to do when you've got a three-run lead in the ninth is give the other guys any sense of hope. It's a good time to challenge here on 2-0, especially since there's a good chance he's taking until he gets a strike. And a close play at first, but a great stretch that time as they get him by a step for out number one. The right fielder. It's a bullpen six. game for them now as we have yeah. a look at the starter's final Lolo. line. And he was really in command on the mound throughout the evening. Yeah, he looked really dialed in from start to finish. This is the kind of outing you hope for every time you go out there. So I think he'll feel pretty good about the effort he put forth in this one. First pitch coming. Here it is. Watches a fastball right there for strike one. Bases are empty. One man out. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Now batting. Number Carmine your attention, Gomes please. We'll grab a bat and hit for the for pitcher your here. your Iowa Cubs. Number 19, Carmine. Go. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. And this is in the air to right, and this should do it. Hawkins makes the Antonio missions. Led this game from the third inning on and never wavered. Freddie Peralta is credited with the win. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa and the lefty Dan Plezak and the rest of our crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. Thanks for watching MLB Network. Final line score. First for the victorious missions. Four runs on six hits. One error. They left four men on base. Time of the ball game. Two hours and 48 minutes. Thank you for joining us here tonight. And we remind you to please drive home safely.